Today on iPod 70, Peppermint Pinwheel for the Virtual Line. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back to another coffee tasting video. If it's your first time here, we are a Nespresso-centric channel. We review the original line and the virtual line of Nespresso. If that interests you, you have found the right channel. For my returning Podhead family, any and all announcements will be at the end. But without further ado, let's get into today's star attraction. It was a favorite from last year, Peppermint Pinwheel. Let's hope this year is just as good, if not better, but let's take a look at what they have to say. All right, Peppermint Pinwheel, the aromatic profile, flavored coffees with a natural aromas inspired from your childhood candies. It is a moment of pure indulgence, which takes you to an enchanting world of festive year end. Well, that is quite the, that is quite the statement there. Candied and sweet, why we love it, peppermint flavor comes to life. This smooth Arabica blend of Ethiopian, Central, and South American coffees with a distinctive sweet note characteristic of peppermint candy. Uh, it says insider tip, ooh, an insider tip. With the addition of a dash of milk, the lingering notes of peppermint soften down to achieve a well-balanced milky cup. Well, we will definitely try that. So let's take a look at the pods. Cool looking pods like I remember from last year. Ah, oh, yeah, nice. There's your pod. I'm just gonna call this a Christmas green. It's got little swirly designs, leaves on it. It is labeled on the bottom, just a all around cool looking pod. Natural aromas, pure indulgence, and a piece of your childhood. Peppermint pinwheel, let's go brew a cup. Round one, let's get this pod going. Coffee is done. Oh, man, did it smell good while it was brewing. Boy, it's got a very, very soft peppermint smell to it. Almost like, I didn't actually read the level and I'm not sure if it was in there, but judging from the color, I would say it's down around a four, so kind of a lighter brew kind of like the Malazio, Giorgio levels, but man, it almost smells like, the peppermint almost smells like those candies that a lot of weddings have, the little soft peppermint candies where it, that you let them on your tongue and they just kind of melt or disintegrate, those little powdery peppermint ones. That's kind of the smell of the peppermint. Really, really good. I'm excited. Let's go give it a taste. Round one. Let's give it a taste. That seems like it, hmm. Seems like it's pretty close to last year's. The only thing, if I, off that initial taste, the only thing that's striking me as something I don't remember from last year is this seems to have a little bit more of a, a bite. Now I'm not quite, on that first taste, I'm not quite sure if it's acid or bitter, but, let me give it uh, overall nice and smooth. It still has that really soft peppermint. I remember last year it seemed like it was a little bit sweeter. And I'm gonna go with, and just as it's lingering a little bit, my gut feeling is it's got a little bit of an acid bite. I'm not sure it's a bitter bite. To me, this tastes more like an acid bite, which is kind of interesting. I do not remember that on last year's, but overall, very nice. I think this is maybe gonna lend itself a little bit better to adding some milk or cream to it this year. Um, just with that added bite that's there. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely an acid taste. Overall texture's nice and smooth. It seems like it's got a, 
a decent amount of oil, not like a lot, but I would say the body is probably around three. That peppermint taste is still nice and light, so not overpowering. It just has a nice refreshing taste as it goes by. So I think this one's gonna lend itself really well to, hmm, I'm thinking maybe heading down the road of some half and half or cream on this next round. So let's go round two, let's go brew another cup. All right, for round two, we're gonna get the pod going and I'm gonna grab my Aracino frother. We're gonna add five ounces of half and half or 148 milliliters, I believe it is. We're gonna add that into our carafe and then, oh, oh, oh yes. We're bringing out the white chocolate. Excellent addition to that. We're gonna use it. This is more like a syrup than, I mean, more like a, uh, I don't know, like a sauce more than it is a, a pump syrup. So it's a little thicker. We're gonna get two tablespoons of that into the frother. Get that on there. And I'm gonna go with the highest setting for frothing. All right, our coffee is ready. Our milk is ready. Oh man. <sighs> Both smell so good. Let's put these guys together. Hopefully this mug holds it all. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of space. Oh, not good. Oh, not good. The crema is too great. Oh boy. Do I just keep going? Do I just do like, just, just keep going? I think I just keep going. I will just keep going. We're just gonna keep going. Let's go give it a taste. <laughs> my, <laughs> my, <laughs> my wife was behind the camera going. <laughs> the coffee was everywhere all over the floor. <laughs> hey, gotta have some fun with it sometimes. I thought this held that much. Evidently it doesn't. Well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So, round two, let's give it a taste. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. Um, yes. So that has tamed, yeah, there's no acidity that you could detect. The acidity is gone. That wonderful peppermint flavor is there. And the white chocolate, it's almost like those little square peppermint candies that have the white chocolate and the peppermint flakes in them. I don't know what they're called, but it, it almost has that flavor and just that, that creamy texture. It is so creamy. This would be, this is almost like a dessert. It is so, and, and when I say so sweet, sweet, but in a good way, not like, oh, that's too sweet. Not like truffle, like, wow, that's too much. No, just a beautiful, wonderful, sweet, the texture, the smoothness, the creaminess, everything about this is top notch. I really wonder if this, let me give it one more taste here. This has really got me wondering if this wouldn't play out really well in a different style drink, even though it's winter time. Let me try something and I will be right back. All right, so I thought after I tasted this, I thought, man, I bet you this would be excellent as an iced drink. So the only thing I changed is instead of two tablespoons of white chocolate, I did four tablespoons of white chocolate. I always think that the iced ones need just a little bit more sweetness to come through, so let's give it a taste. Oh, if you like 
Oh, wow. Oh, that is so good. I almost think... That's really good too. Man, either way, wow. The coffee still comes through. That peppermint still comes through. The wonderful texture. I did everything the same, just changed the amount of white chocolate. I went from two tablespoons in this to four tablespoons in this. Other than that, it was our normal cup, ice, and the coffee. That is so good. Yes, as an ice drink for the winter, if that's what you normally have anyways, this is gonna be wonderful. It's virtually the same experience as it is hot. So let's take a look at what they're doing here. Peppermint pinwheel, limited edition, candied and sweet, sure. Sweet candy peppermint, sure. Zero cost, wow, it's free today. That's pretty good. If I'm remembering correctly, I believe these were $14 a sleeve or $1.40 a pod. So I'm gonna stick with that as the uh, going rate. Where does this guy line up? Um, as a cup of coffee, eh, it, it, it kind of sits very much in the middle for me. So if you're strictly a uh, black coffee drinker, I would say this one kind of falls in the middle, and I believe, if I remember correctly, I rated it higher last year, but uh, this year it just has, it, it's not quite as sweet as what I remember, and it seems to have that acidic bite, which I don't remember. So I would say, you know, it kind of falls in the middle. When you start souping it up, when you start adding this wonderful half and half and the and the white chocolate and that stuff to it, it it's really, really good. They mention adding milk, so we gotta give credit for that. I'm gonna rate this guy, man, this one's tough. As a coffee, it's a three. As a mixed drink, like you see here, it's four out of five pods. So depending how you drink it, I guess you can vary the rating three for black, four for, for mixed. That brings us to the close of this week's video. I thank you so much for your time. If you've made it this far into the video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're alerted anytime we drop a new video, which is every Friday. Speaking of that, they have released so many coffees and we were at the Scottsdale store over the weekend again and they said there's more coffees coming for the fall lineup yet. Um, I think we're gonna have to kick it up a little bit and we might do a couple of weeks uh, here and there that we're gonna release two videos. And again, when we release two videos, my patrons are gonna be the first ones to get it. They make so much of what we do here possible. You can see their names scrolling here beside me. These amazing people. Uh, contribute every single month to this channel and it really does make a huge difference in what we've been able to do and, and how long this channel has been able to continue running and I, I thank each and every one of you you're awesome if you'd like to become one of those amazing people a patron please join us over at patreon.com forward slash IPON70, it's the same as the YouTube channel, and you too can receive the videos early and commercial free. Don't forget we have the contest for the Halloween stuff. Please send your uh, videos or still shots with your Podhead merchandise, Halloween themed, and then we're gonna review those and show them here live on the channel uh, in November. Whichever one is voted favorite by the audience, you win a $50 gift card. So I can't wait to see what you guys submit. It, you're more creative than I could ever hope to be. So I look forward to seeing what you guys can do. Until next week with another coffee video, have a great rest of your day.